So most of the chalk streams that we have in our area are not particularly healthy and they're not particularly healthy for a number of reasons. One is because of straightening or the way we've modified the channel. One is because the water quality is not great and one is because there's not enough water. And part of that is that we rely on those same aquifers that supply the chalk streams to supply us with water in our taps. So while Wildlife Trust and other partners can easily, relatively easily, do work, practical work in the river like we're doing here to improve the shape of the channel and we can add gravel, we can add features, we can't put more water in the river and that is a, sort of a, quite a high level political problem and if we don't have intervention from government we can't solve that. If there's no water in the river nothing we do will actually help. So we're sort of tied to politics in that sense and tied to decisions of the regulator and the water companies and the our elected representatives, how our water is used, how our water is regulated and what the water companies are allowed to do. And if we, if we don't have change from that level, there's no way we can change on the ground. Well, one of the good things about this area is a lot of people really do care about chalk streams. If you look at the, ch the chalk streams around here, most of them have got friends groups. There's a, the River Mel, River Shep, and people who have these rivers going through their villages are really passionate about it. They really want to make a difference and make the rivers better. But again, they are a bit stuck with bigger problems that they can't address on their own. Chalk streams are special because the water in them is special. It's because it's very clean and clear and it's also should be coming out of the chalk springs at quite a constant temperature, so about 10 degrees C, winter and summer. And there are some species which require that and can't survive anywhere else. Also that cool water is really good for fish and uh, you know, in the hot summers it's a good, a good refuge area for a variety of species.